Good evening, peeps, my name is Scripps, and welcome to Terraria, late night edition apparently, because right now it is 10pm, later than I usually ever record, and it's because I've been sitting up all day. Well, of course, I've also been working on the 10k celebration video, but I've been sitting up all day thinking about one thing, and that is this series, and how it is supposed to progress forward. How are we going to tackle this problem that is creating the ideal Terraria experience for us to play? Because as you remember, I actually made a poll on this game deciding such things as the difficulty and what sort of vibe and mindset we should step into this game with. And I know that most of you said classic mode. Most of you guys actually wanted to play the regular mode of the game, but after the last episode where I beat Eye of Cthulhu and absolutely not just beat them, but dominated them, I started having my doubts. I thought it was too easy, way too easy. So I actually thought, why not bump it up to expert? If I picked expert difficulty, the people who wanted me to play classic in the in the first place were gonna be dissatisfied and I was gonna be dissatisfied because I wasn't gonna be making any progress. So I thought, you know what? We're gonna have the full experience of this game. Um, so why not? Why not? So I picked master mode. Are you ready, folks? Because here we are. And to some people's dismay, to some people's dislike, that's that, That's where we are now. I know some people wanted me to put classic mode, but I will say I did read the comments. I read the comments so I could get the best possible idea of what you guys wanted out of this, out of this playthrough. And it just seemed like you wanted me to have sort of a good time. So it's a blind experience for all of us. It might be a tough road, but it at least it will not be solely on focusing on beating the bosses. I can promise that. I will really promise to try to deliver that nostalgic um, Terraria experience because at this time I'm not on a timer. The last time I played this game I was on a timer. I was supposed to beat the game before Christmas so I barely had a month to do it with like uh, rarer uploads and stuff. But now I have more common uploads so I can upload it off more often and I can just beat the game at my pace which is nice. Now addressing what has actually been happening here because as you might remember this is not my house. This is not what my house looked like at all, and that's because I could not find a way to actually convert it into master mode. I could maybe find a way to convert it, in, convert it into expert, but not master mode. Not yet. So I just started a new world, and I sort of got to where I was. I built a house, although this is a very nice house, it's way prettier than my other house, and it totally doesn't look weird in any sort of way. And then I also explored this. This was actually not intentional, by the way. Um, I just digged straight down and I stumbled upon these freaking minecart rails that apparently transport me the world over. So, I mean, I guess that was just pure luck on my part again. But that actually means that the goal of this episode hasn't really changed much. Oh yeah, by the way, my, my guy died, and he hasn't respawned since, and I had so much health that the nurse just spawned, so I don't know when I'll get him back, but we, we, we'll see, I guess. But the goal of this episode is still to beat Cthulhu, because beating Cthulhu on Master certainly will be different. In comparison to like uh, beating beating him on normal difficulty, um, so yeah, we have to get to work. Also, I try to avoid discovering as much possible or as much stuff as possible because I wanted you um, along for the ride. But I can also sort of say that that might not be the case in the future. Um, I'm, I want to do a lot more with this game, also like creatively build houses and stuff, so you might not be along for every step of it, there might be a lot of stuff I do between episodes, but I did want to leave at least some exploring to be something that happens between you and I. So I haven't actually seen these railroads, uh, except just sort of driving through them quickly, and I did see, I did spy with my eye, blazing past it at like 300 miles an hour, I saw that there were some underground houses nearby if my oh wait 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 there's also gold i didn't even see that yeah because as you also probably get the best armor i can asap because i don't know if you guys saw how much just slime deals in damage to me they're mortal enemies now the 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 accessory that actually allows me to um i don't know oh 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 no the accessory that actually makes them uh, not or makes them friendly towards me probably useful now. I don't even remember where I get it, so that's unfortunate. <sighs> okay, at least my mace weapon is really good. But I also have another 
accessory slot. I just have that automatically, that's just how master mode apparently works. When you step into master mode, you have another accessory slot. Which is really cool. Um, because that, that certainly does help with making some of the bosses a little easier. Um, in the, in the late game especially, I'm thinking. But I got this one item by just riding over here to the right through sort of like the desert area. I found some underground houses. And it gave me this thing. Brisk Ancient Chisel. Increases mining speed by 25%. That's really good. I thought it was going to be like a building item to begin with, but it's really freaking good. Okay. Yeah, I need to be- I need to be careful. I can't blow this. Oh, there it is. I see it. I see it. I almost gotta get that little gold nugget. Uh, yes, that's good. Okay, so what's in here? Uh, it better not be some of the stuff I already got. Hermes boots again? Oh, and they're the exact same! Hey, now I have a full pair. I mean, I was always wondering how you're gonna chug along with, with, with only one boot on, but... <laughs> My luck with this game, man. I mean, for now, still, but st come on, that's pretty cool. Also, I saw Merc play this, by the way. That's one of the reasons that I also decided to go with Master Mode, because I knew, now I knew, I wasn't the only YouTuber who was crazy enough to throw themselves into this. Sorry? Now I'm not the only YouTuber thrown into this, because Merc is also starting a Master playthrough. So if, if, if all hell, if all hell comes, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna, I don't know. Sort of jump off of him in terms of advice, I guess. Oh, there it is again, the freaking trap! Where are you guys hooked to now? Oh, it's another dead man. Oh no, I gotta be- yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Look, look. Look. This is like- there's four different traps hooked to this. It's the explosives that are the deadliest though, if I get rid of those, it won't be that bad. And it actually has items in it. Uh, and because it's- it's a full chest, Okay, I'm gonna remove you, and then I'm gonna... Oh! No! What?! Oh, you son of a bitch! There's another explosive I didn't see. Oh, uh, all of you guys who are gonna complain about Master Mode being too hard later on, don't worry, that killed me normal too, so it doesn't- that doesn't count. Oh, here, here we are, here we are. How much gold did I have on me? How much did I drop? Nothing? I find that hard to believe, sir. I did have 13 gold, I put that in the chest beforehand really good okay but I triggered everything right yeah okay guarding shoe spikes again it's just sort of shoe spikes but it, I mean they're better dead man sweater really you know what I'm gonna put this on just to taunt myself for falling for the same trap twice idiot more Hermes boots I can't use one and a half pairs Ooh, gold nugget thank you gold at the end of the rainbow I like it this is so nice. It, I, I don't even have a mining upgrade, it's just that one ancient chisel. I found another one, I found two of them. But yeah, is this a new item? I, I don't recall it being... I don't know, I never freaking explored the desert underground. I actually haven't been in a lot of pyramids, so even I don't know. Also, I know at this point you might be um, questioning <laughs> what my... Um, <laughs> what my house is supposed to look like. Um, don't worry about it. I'll... Uh, I'll tell you about it later. Not enough gold though, um, to make a full set. And because it gives a set bonus of 3 defense, I'm, I'm gonna wait with equipping it, but I'm gonna make it. Also, for those unfortunate folks who were, um, who were fans and who are questioning why I'm not wearing uh, the baby shark, it's because I read the description of the baby shark, and it's it's a deliberate reference to baby shark, and that's why, yeah, that that's why I got rid of baby shark. You don't you you don't want to know why. I just got rid of him. Oh, treehouse! Well, that's pretty. I've actually always com considered building like a house around one, but they've always been in inconvenient locations, but it's fine. As you'll see later, I've gotten a pretty good idea of what my house is gonna look like. <laughs> but yes, for those who are also curious, don't worry, I intentionally made it so we got crimson again. Just so we had as, li as little difference between the original world as possible. That is a huge skull! Oh my god! I mean, uh, 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 I mean, of course, there, there's huge eyeballs, so why wouldn't there be a big skull, but still? Holy crap, okay. Um, okay, so if you're wondering- Oh! A, a gnome? No- What? Why is there a gnome here? Why is he angry? 
Oh, there's uh, there's one of or th there's two different possibilities. There's either oh fleeting. What's a stool? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Let me let me collect this stuff before you attack me. At least there was two options. Either it was the gnomes from uh, Gravity Falls, or it was Killer Keemstar in his true form. Oh, I think I'm in the right spot though. No. Wait, is this one of the is this one of the trees that uh, give me like emeralds and stuff? And if I if I cut it down, come on, give me give, give me maybe topaz. It looks like a topaz tree. Gem topaz gem corn and topaz. Okay, so I'm right about that. But the reason we're down here is actually to break the different uh, the the hearts or the orbs. Oh, because I need them to give me weapons. Now I know you may be saying, but Scripps, isn't this horribly foolish? It sort of is, but I think I know the exact amount of those orbs. Ow, ow, ow. I think I know the exact amount of those orbs that I can break before the Brain of Cthulhu spawns, so we should be safe. Should be. I went down here without purification powder or explosives. I must be the biggest idiot. I must be. Oh. To make my night. Just why? Okay. You know what? Whatever. We're already in hell. Um, let's just get this over with. I brought a hammer, right? Or wait, that'll destroy it? Yes. A horrible chill goes down my spine. That's fine. It's not... Does It won't kill me yet. It won't kill me yet. How many can I kill? Is it... Is it... Is it three? I... Gosh, I don't remember... Oh, now anyway, I have to get out of here now. I have two gold on me. I don't know why I didn't leave that. Ah! Uh, spiders. Oh, I, I bet a lot of people hate crimson in comparison to... In comparison to corruption. Oh yeah, though you guys don't care about if it's water, do you? Ah, oh, God, why? Oh my good... Oh my God, you hurt so bad. Well, this is terrible because... <laughs> I can't really blow anything up without killing myself, can I? No, I'll just have to shoot my way out, I guess. Place it carefully. I don't want it to blow up the wrong one, because one of them has two. And I don't know if I can survive two. I think two might spawn the brain, so... Okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Uh... Please tell me I have the freaking thi I don't have my hammer, are you kidding me? Screams echo around you. Crimson Rod! That is really good, I think. I don't know, actually. But I, I, don't, I don't dare to tempt fate more than that. But I got a Crimson Rod. Very good. I don't have the most mana in the world, but I also got a Murderous Undertaker. Which is a pretty good ranged weapon. Don't quote me on that. Okay, wow, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot it's freaking Blood Moon. You know what, you know what, no, 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 I ain't sticking around for this. You guys can stay down there. There's a reason I didn't build anything on the on the bottom floor. I'm, I'm actually serious. There's that, that's the reason why I didn't put anything down there yet. Just because I thought that maybe I wouldn't be able to protect it on master mode. And then I can just farm from here. This is genius. Well, this is less genius. Apparently, it has to go through. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, look at that. That is nice. Temporary solution, temporary solution. I just need to seal this off so I'm not in mortal danger. Okay, um... Yeah, I should probably build some houses so my guys can spawn. Um, and by my guys, I mean the guide, but also the arm stealer. I think, yeah. You gotta be taking the piss on me. Are you fucking joking? There's no way I can fend- There's literally no way I can fend them off now. How? Okay, 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 just don't- don't panic! Um... Okay, so Goblin Army... Apparently, I forgot I killed the fucking- No, wait, no, wait, wait, that was in a different world! Shouldn't count! Okay. You know what? Screw it. I have... Tactics. Um, and see, maybe if I stand here, yeah, I can put that out there. Perfect. Perfecto. And then maybe if I put this here... Yeah, I can do it like this. Maybe? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'll also- I- oh, oh, wait, 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 some of you guys told me I could do something with my- my mace. Oh, well, that was freaking quick. Oh, god, that was so quick. Just give me this. Just give me this. 
And I think that meant that I could have craft, yeah, a flaming mace. I don't know what difference that makes. I honestly don't. Um. Oh god, no, 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 I made a fatal error. Okay, okay, wow, wow, okay, never mind. Nurse, nurse, might start moving, nurse. Oh, why, 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 why? Okay, okay, yeah, nope, 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 nope. I don't care, I don't care if I get hit. It's just those guys I don't want hit. I guess I'll just do it like this for now. Oh, they have so much health, though. If I didn't have the power of my gigantic architect mind that built this perfect fortress, I, I don't... <laughs> well, my gigantic perfect mind that um, made that slight little dirt block here prevent them from jumping up here. But still, um, if I didn't do that, I'd be so screwed. I cannot kill those guys. They have so much health. Oh, am I glad I went down there. To get that, that was worth it. I don't care about the mana cost, the fact that it kills those guys is enough for me. Oh, oh, ow, 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 hey. And the maze is perfect for wielding off his shots. Woo-wee! Oh, go away! You guys can... Frick off! I do not care, woo, how much gold did I get? Did I even get a lot of gold? Oh, I got five gold, that's pretty good. Still. I am so lucky I survived that, without dying once. That's gotta be a record, or something. Well, not a record, but... I don't know, just record luck, I guess. Ah, nervous laughter. I need to make this lower, though. Um, I think I'm gonna dig this out, and then I'm gonna build it further down, because those guys could just barely jump up there. I was actually measuring it on the fact that I could, couldn't reach, but I also noticed that even zombies can actually jump up there. So, yeah, I need to build this deeper. If I, uh, if I want them to not invade without me having to block the exit every time. As primitive as they are, some goblins have the potential for manipulating magic shadow energy through a form of hexing. Uh, and difficult- oh, damage medium- oh, that it actually raids them and stuff. That's really cool. I really like that. I'm gonna read through all these. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it on camera, but probably later. But hey, I got a hurtful harpoon out of it. I have no idea. I- yeah, no, no. I still- I still think- even though this technically counts as a flail, I don't think this one has gotten more useful since release. Maybe for this. I should probably tell you guys about my house though, and what I'm planning to do with it. In case you can't tell, I'm actually planning to make something that you can see from orbit, aka you can see it from the map. Um, I'm trying to make... My characters. <laughs> I just want to build something cool, and I thought that, you know what, Terraria is perfect for sprite art. So why not, you know, why not make my furry crossing or fur furry Sona face onto this? Why not? That's a cool idea, shut up! So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now anyway, because I need freaking space for my guide and arm stealer, and probably also my demolitionist. There's a bunch of people who can move in now, and I need they, they need their space. Oh, look at that! Holy crap, there's like lanterns in the background. Oh, that's so pretty! But it keeps insinuating the fact that there are other people on this island, when clearly there is not. I'm not insane, it's just the world that's weird. Wow, this tool works so effectively. I am still absolutely astonished by that. That this still works as well as it does. But hey, oh, well, there, there we go, never mind. Look at my thonk chonkin house! Look how cool it looks! I mean... No, wait, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not gonna try to imagine it looks like anything different. No, it looks like my character! Just from like a side where it's like... Hieroglyphic... View. That's so cool! And when it is on the map, it's gonna look so cool. Because it's gonna look like a freaking... It's gonna look like a... One of those... Oh, what do you call them? There's a specific word for them in English. Like, uh, the same thing that's on like a, a pirate ship or on a viking ship. Even more appropriate, since I am Danish. Just saying, it would be very appropriate. But it's gonna scare off all the enemies. This is gonna be the ultimate... I mean, <laughs> the, the, the face of my house might look like one of fear. But truly, it, it, it is a battle cry. I, I promise you that. It might not show it, but that's what it is canonically. Um, <laughs> totally. I'm, I'm sure that's what you guys imagined when you looked at my profile picture every time, right? You didn't see, like, a scared, anxiety-filled furry character or something. No, 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 you saw a, you saw a, a beast, a beastly war cry. 
But I'm out of stone, so I can't really continue building my house, and I also need to finish my gold armor anyway. So I might as well get down and get to continue mining. Do I have my mining potion on me? Because that's very important. Because if I have my mining potion on me, baby. Whew, alongside my uh, freaking brisk ancient chisel and my superior gold pickaxe. I'm gonna dig at the speed of sound. I don't even need hard mode to get that good mining gear. Oh my god, look at that. It doesn't stand a chance. Okay. Do I need the silver? Actually, no. I used the mining potion. Now we're just gonna focus on one thing, and that's finding gold. The only thing I need is a spelunker potion. Another rail track? How many of these are there? Ow! Ow, actually, don't die, please. I just got the thing. It's sort of cool because when you <laughs> when you sort of just dig directly down with the water, uh, the slime just gets sort of suction cupped their way up because they float. So, yeah, they just sort of <laughs> up there. <laughs> Good way to get rid of uh, problems, I guess. I wonder if there's also, like, with master mode, a change in, like, drop rate. Because there's a lot of expert difficulties that like to, um... Not just purely punish, but also give a few rewards, like, at or increase the drop rate or something, if you play it on hard. Uh, Sekiro does that, and I think... Uh, Darkest Dungeons also does that when you turn out the torch. Uh, so, it would be pretty cool if that was in this game, but I don't know. Doesn't seem like there is. Or, well, that would explain my absolutely amazing luck, but still, I don't think that's it. Can I mind this? What? 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 I can mine Crimtain now? I thought you, you, you weren't supposed to be able to do that. Well, that's actually really good, because that means that my, ac my actual best armor I can get at the moment without even defeating a boss is actually relatively high. I deleted my Crimtain on purpose. The stuff that I got from Cthulhu because I didn't want people to think that I... I don't know, I didn't beat Cthulhu honestly. Uh, because I used Crimtain armor or stuff like that. But yeah, I can use it now. Has Gold always been able to do that? Maybe not. Maybe not. I hope not. Otherwise my memory is worse than I thought. But yeah, should, does that mean I should actually stop my chase after Gold? Is, is, is Crimtain... Oh! Didn't know that did that. <laughs> That's cool. I, I like that. It sort of makes me jump all over the place if there's a lot of water. But does that mean I should stop my chase for gold? Because technically gold's not the best. I don't know. But doesn't Crimtain spawn randomly? And I can't really get through... Oh, right. I didn't even build the housing area. So my guys won't even spawn. Like the demolitionist and all that still won't spawn. That's unfortunate. I'll go back and do that. I bought, I bought that by accident. I am a fucking idiot. I mean... If I'm lucky, that might be the best item I can get. <laughs> for 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 that, I don't know, but I, yeah, that was by accident. Hey, it's it's not that bad actually. We uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, and does a lot of damage. Maybe <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the music changed. Is that? Be Wait. Oh, oh, oh! Is that because it? Do is the other town themes now? That's actually cool. I really like that. That's a cool idea. Cool, neat idea. I like that. Um, maybe that means there's different town music for like each pylon or something. I don't know. Would be cool. But if I read your happiness, you won't want to be here, right? Happiness. This is what I'm talking about. Privacy. Think Molly the nurse ever, you know, checks me out? Uh, I don't know. So you like living here? I guess that's good. Uh, okay. Wow, I can actually buy the mini shark already. <gasps> That'd be really good. Can actually almost afford it. Holy, holy crap. Maybe that's also what I should be going for. Just saying, mate. Maybe we can do it. I'm gonna keep mining, y'all. Why? Just cause, baby. Just cause. And also, I think I can sell the gold if I need it. Oh, sorry, spider. Sorry, sorry. Oh, that is... Ooh, that is unfortunate. I know you might not be happy with me about that one. Oh, God. Oops! <laughs> Another mine shaft? Are you kidding me, man? No gold? It's just all I want. I just want the gold. Oh! 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 Oh, this is amazing! Oh my god, I did not even think of that. I completely forgot about that. Don't leave! Oh, I thought I just stepped on a... I panicked because I just thought I stepped on a pressure plate. If I stepped on a pressure plate and this guy was gone... Oh... 
Thank you for freeing me, human. I was tied up and left here by the other goblins. You could say that we didn't get along so well. Uh, that's great, Noel, man. You're gonna cost me some of the gold I'm trying to get back. Okay, yeah, but this guy, he sells me rocket boots, but he also sells me the Tinkerer's Workshop, which will be really important later on uh, in order to free up, like, accessory space, because it's uh, he's the guy that can uh, make it so I can basically combine items. Oh god, well, that, uh, I hope you're gonna be okay, dude. But you're not very good for my situation right now, which I mean is collecting gold. I do need your rocket boots, though, but... I don't know how I feel about it. Oh, house, house, great, great, great. I'm actually not curious about what's inside the house as much as I am curious whether or not if there's a longer potion, because I really need those. Um, I just I just need to find gold. And also cool statues and crap, okay. Maze, flaming arrow, oh, that is, like, probably the worst I could have gotten. Oh, them quick reactions, boy! Oh, never mind, never mind. Okay, ow, I was just looking cool. I will also say just a little animation flares, like when your character actually closes their eyes when they're blinded uh, and stuff. It's actually a pretty cool touch, I will say. Don't know how you see you know, all this with your eyes closed, but still, nice touch. Uh, what is that? What is that? Oh. 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 Hello? Hello, little guy. Why, why do I need to follow you? Do you, do you have treasures? Why, why, why are you, hello? <gasps> Thank you, little fairy. Oh, I've never seen you before. I thought you were just a weird glowing butterfly. Thank you. Oh, how lovely. And then you exploded and died for my sake. What a beautiful story. Thank you. Oh, this will help me greatly. Again, my luck, it's just... Mwah, chef's kiss. Perfect. Perfect luck in this playthrough. Oh... I was not risking that. I got all kinds of debuffs. I got darkness, feral bite, increased damage, decreased that. Oh, that was a little rough. But we got a bunch of stuff. That's pretty cool, right? Ha 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 ha. Potato? I need no potato chips. I mean, I appreciate it. I haven't had anything on this freaking marooned island that's mildly civilized for ages, but thank. It's still weird. We have reached lava, folks, and I've still not found enough gold for a single set of armor. Isn't that goddamn fantastic? Now I'm in deadly danger of falling in lava, and I'm still no closer to being rich. Looks like my luck may have turned around after all. Oh. Oh, guide, welcome back, Brett. I don't know why I don't like that name. <laughs> Do you make dough? Oh, yay! I found a mushroom biome. I was like, what the hell is that music? I don't remember it. Okay, great. That That's good. Kind of. It means that I'm in deadly danger because, well, the mushroom biome is dangerous. Oh! Oh! No! No! That was the biggest trap yet. Oh, I couldn't put the fire. Oh, I, you guys probably... You know what, whatever. <laughs> I just, I'm just i just glad I didn't lose the gold out there. That was the biggest, most unescapable death pit I've seen in so long. And I'm guessing that's just because the freaking mushroom biomes are so huge now. Those lava lakes, I guess they form so easily down there. Or maybe the developers put them there. Like assholes. Why are those so hard to dig? Do you do 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 they want to make it hard for you to erase your misery? They changed this too. Hurtful trident, increase the mobility in water when held. Hold up to descent slower. Okay, uh, you know what? I'm gonna hold on to that for now, just because I'm curious to see what that does. But you know what? Now I have enough gold to buy this bad boy. Okay, I have now bought a mini shark. I don't have enough ammo. But luckily, I can buy that. Um, yeah. Okay, just buy a ton of those. Money. It, okay, I should probably spare the money, but I don't think I'll last that long in a boss fight anyway. It's going to be interesting to see how I'm going to fare against him. I got a way more powerful weapon. I still have, I think, the same armor as last time I fought him. 
uh, on normal difficulty. Not good, but who knows? We might, we might come out of this on, with the, with an upper 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 rubber upper hand. I don't know. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing as last time, where I built my arena right here, right on the other side of the bridge, where or the on the other side of the mountain where it isn't in view for anyone to see. Oh, thank you, grapefruit. Now the final little step. Oh, really, you asshole? Are you kidding me? You know what? Fuck it. We'll dual wield. We'll dual wield. I don't even care. I am so dead. I am so freaking dead. Like, you have no idea just how dead I am. This was a bad idea. Why did they have to do a full moon? The reason, by the way, I'm rushing it now. It's because it's freaking... It's so late now. I can't actually be up yelling right now. Okay, but you know what? Screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it. Whatever. I don't live here for much longer. I'm planning to move soon. <laughs> I guess that doesn't mean I can do noise complaints. Ow. Okay. Okay. Please help me, mini shark. I beg of you. You really need to pull your weight this evening. Oh, wait, 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 yeah. Oh, oh. Okay, okay, he's angry. That's pretty good, though. No! Okay, I'm doing pretty good, though. I'm doing pretty good, though. I'm healing up. I'm healing up just for safety's sake. Just for safety's sake. Not because I need it right now. He's gonna start attacking. Really? Yeah, there it is. There it is. The infamous attack. Okay. Oh, and he's gonna get so fast with it. Oh! Oh! No! Oh no, 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 he's so fast, he's so fast, he's so fast, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, I can't hit him, he's so hard to hit, I can't see, oh, oh, okay, 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 he does so much damage, oh my good god, oh my good god, heal, 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 do something, no, oh, oh, Oh no! I could have done it. I could have fucking done it. If only this game had turned in my favor one more time before my luck ran out. Just one more time. I don't even care. <sighs> That's it for this episode. If, they, if it only had turned for my luck like one more time by giving me not a blood moon, I was about to say, maybe maybe also like a freaking... Why am I wearing the stool as well? I should have worn the acklet. If I had just gotten the gold that I needed to make a full armor set, which was not that much more, by the way, and um, if just freaking it wasn't a blood moon, I might have been able to pull it off just if it wasn't a blood moon. But those guys did like like those guys each tapped me for like 60. And I just could not hit the guy at the end. That was so hard. The thing that makes the mini shark so good is because you can just keep pumping bullets into him, but if you can't hit him, that does not matter at all. Oh, okay. I got him in the next episode though. I know, I know, I know. I'll even do a bit of prep work maybe before the next episode. We'll see. But let me know how you feel down in the comments, by the way, about expert mode or a master mode. I feel like even though it has been quite brutal with me, um, like it threw out, it tossed a freaking goblin army at me and all that stuff, um, then it has also, somehow I've just gotten through it really luckily. The only point where I wasn't lucky was actually with that last fight. That would have been the perfect beginning to this. But I mean, it's master mode. Disaster after strike at some point. By the way, if you want my seed for this particular map with the freaking, th uh, what is it, three minecart tracks, it's uh, literally pure disaster. So if you just write a small letter, pure disaster in your seed, um, I don't know if master mode affects any of it, but if you just write pure disaster in your seed, you'll get this exact map, literally. So yeah, it had to strike at some point. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.